All right, Rowan, son, precious child of mine that I have already hugged today, and so you will not hug me a second time, even though I really wish you would. I'm gonna have to admit something to myself and basically everyone, but if I have a child who goes ahead and is eating dried ancient fruits as their snackies as a toddler, I think I possibly might be spoiling him and also are obscenely rich. Or at least I used to be. I'm not even a millionaire anymore, which sounds ridiculous. But when you have a 500,000 gold turtle that you need to go ahead and add into your home, uh, that, okay, look, and maybe I have a diamond over my head right now, but it's the, the, the bear with me on that. <laughs> but look at this. I'm so happy with how things are starting to actually turn out. We now have a, a lovely a fish tank and a nice bench, a few tables. I think that Leah was more than ready for me to go ahead and upgrade the kitchen stuff too. Oh, which reminds me. All right, Rowan, let's see. Oh, oh good. I already have a chocolate cake done. Oh wow, they sell for a thousand gold. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind cooking a few of those and being like a little chef Siri if I got some good money for it. Um, what? Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, dang, if it's only like, you know, uh, uh, like a couple recipe ingredients to make a chocolate cake and then it's worth a thousand gold, I'll go ahead and bake all day. Yeah, actually that was cause I had a stack of them. That makes more sense. That makes more sense now. Um, but good news is now we have the chocolate cake that I was just about to go ahead and take a break from the morning activities to make for Jody, whose birthday it is today. And I'm glad I remembered that because I would really like to give her a nice birthday gift before I go ahead and run away to go frolic with the raccoons. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, let me also go ahead and put the dried mushrooms and strawberries away in like the prepared food chest. And I already have pepper poppers. I don't think I'm gonna need my roots platter or my lucky lunch, but you never know. So maybe I'll keep those with me. <gasps> Poppy seed puffins. Okay, that's another thing that Leah really likes. So I'm gonna go ahead and offer that up to Leah too. And then I wonder, can I feed my child? Something yummy for breakfast. We have a lot of pancakes, but I'm, I'm trying to think, ooh, glazed yams. Okay, that sounds like it'd give me a headache if we had breakfast, like, and it was just glazed yams. Oh, how about the soup? You know, kind of the, the, the Tom Kha soup I think I've had before. It's really good. I don't think I can actually give it to my son. No, I can't. I'll put it here on the table for when you're ready to pretend to eat it, little Rowan. Uh, and now we have chocolate cake. I've already yeeted baby Clover, so the baby has had attention, and uh, Leah! There we go! I ended up just snagging a gemstone off the, the pedestal instead. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you! Much better than the thing I gave you the other day that you didn't like, right? Alright, there we go. Oh, okay. Let's just casually throw this gemstone, the diamond one, in with some of the others. And we've got adventure today, friends! I have been trying to redecorate the house a little bit in between everything. The results are mixed, to say the least. But at least we're trying. <gasps> no way, it's already done? I thought it would take so much longer to smoke this, this smoked shad fish. That's so cool! Okay, good. Now we can go ahead and we can take it to the raccoons. Oh, wow. I'm just like feeding the whole town at this stage. That makes me very happy. But all right. Ah, welcome back to the valley, everyone, where we are getting ready for yet another wonderful day of chaos. Um, And also, ah, how do I keep up with all of these seeds that I need? Also, where on earth did my like seed makers go? I have no idea. You'd think that I would have just bucketfuls of them right now, but uh, apparently not. Um, I guess I still have fairy seeds, beets. I guess I'll throw down some pumpkins while it's still this part of the season. Uh, and then wasn't I supposed to have like broccoli or something else somewhat? Oh, <gasps> my mossy tree! Yes, look at it grow. All right, that makes me exceptionally happy. Um, at least it said mossy tree seed for that. What about the... Oh, the mahogany tree still hasn't really grown, if that is mahogany. But I think that you can only put fertilizer on it once. 
Yeah. And so we just have to be patient, but maybe that's a hint at how long it would normally take to go ahead and grow that mahogany. Also, how are my artichokes? Broccoli, I think, is the weird fruit that I keep eyeing this up and wondering if my Junimo are going to collect. But for now, they can think pumpkin -y thoughts. Ooh, <gasps> I should try to grow another giant pumpkin because my personal rule of thumb. Yes, okay, we're gonna try to grow another giant pumpkin. Which definitely seems like I'm beginning to already get off the um, the to-do list script for the day. The answer to that is yes. But that's because we have a rule here in our wonderful farm that we can only... Really? And now I'm out of enough pumpkin seeds to make a giant pumpkin? That... Oh, I need to go into town anyway for Jody, so maybe it'll work out. <laughs> All right. Uh, but the rule on our little farm is that we cannot, cannot have more Junimo huts built unless we are able to go ahead and have one of the large giant fruits uh, or vegetables. I think it's all fruit, actually. Also, where are my chickens? Hello? Wasn't this supposed to auto collect? Oh, it won't do it with all this stuff. Oh, okay. All right, everybody. I don't know why you're inside. Did I accidentally close? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just locked my chickens inside without realizing it. Oh, all right. Well, into town we go to apparently buy some pumpkin seeds so that I can start adding more Junimo. Uh, bequeath gifts to some of the villagers. And then we're going to probably go take care of the raccoons and or eye up the mahogany. Maybe the raccoons because they tend to want like new food all the time. Need super cucumber for my latest project. Help, Maru. That makes two super cucumbers. Because yesterday Harvey wanted one. Today, Maru wants one. Also, has this little star icon thingy always been here? Because I don't think it has. I'm going to accept that because I think there might be some sort of new achievement dent that I might be able to go ahead and achieve. And that is of vital importance to me. Hey, Pierre. So... I need just like three pumpkin seeds, please. I know that's kind of a silly number and seems a little random, but it happens. Um, and then maybe I'll just get a few more yam seeds. My little Junimo are really just like very successful. Maybe some eggplants. Kind of forgot I could grow those too. Uh, and there's the, I don't really have a lot of artichokes, so we'll get that down. And then the only place you can buy vinegar, I think is from Pierre. Like I can't make it myself, so I'll grab some of that too. All right, well, I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful day, and I have pomegranate seeds, or pomegranate plants, so I think we're good there. All right, good to see you, Pierre. And then I can't remember what I put over here. Potatoes and seeds. Don't eat that blackberry. Yeet, yeet. Okay, one of these days I'm going to figure out that mystery. All right, <laughs> no, don't eat the blackberry. <laughs> Come along, Rose Stone. Let us go forth and let us see what we can do. Nope, not that's Penny. Bye, Penny. Um, a little bit further. And it's Jody home. Oh. <laughs> Literally, Kent and Sam and little Vincent are all like not helping with the dishes again. I still don't know how I feel about this. Jody, happy birthday. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Maybe I've spoiled the boys a bit. They've never had to do any chores. Jody. Jody. Look, even uh, Rowan, who is probably currently eating 4,000 gold snackies for his lunch, um, even he has to like clean up after himself. So I guess I want them to be able to enjoy their childhood while they still can. Well, Sam's basically a man now though. I hope he hasn't grown up to be lazy. That won't do. The answer, unfortunately, is yes. However, you know, that makes me kind of reflect on... It feels good to accomplish things. I actually am happy that I really was taught how to find... Well, okay, self-taught. <laughs> how to find a lot of satisfaction in creating things, because I don't think I would have gotten to this stage of my life if I hadn't... If I hadn't had that. That sense of... it's. It's nice to do stuff, to be able to see a cause and effect on 
on what you want out of life. Also, do I need to go get some? I think I need to actually go get some of the the shells. Hungry? Need fish? Hang in there, little one. So you need uh, smoked shad, which I have, and clams. Okay, I'll be right back, little friend. I forgot the clams. And other statements, sentences, etc., etc. Never anticipated. All right, let's go. Good job, Rostone. We have to go get clams for a raccoon. Um, and also plant these pumpkin seeds. There we go. Any other empty spots? The Junimo are just on it. I'm really impressed. I will throw down maybe some eggplants. Um, any empty spots? Oh, wow. Actually, I don't think they have left much. Just this one. I like how the smoked fish continues to smoke whilst in my pockets. A little concerning, a little concerning. But also, no, don't you dare eat that. We only had one shad. One shad fish in my entire, like, pocket. Or, well, you know, one in my pocket at the moment. And we only had one <laughs> overall um, in all of my fish chest. So I would be a little upset if we went and we just ate that. Let's see, I'm gonna leave these seeds behind in our fall seed assortment. <laughs> and by the way, I just, I learned that there's this like organize button and I really like that. Um, I learned you can just like add everything to the existing stocks. I've just never bothered to like look at those because perhaps organization's a little bit of a myth with me, but I'm trying. <laughs> oh. All right, back home, back home. Let me drop off some stuff into the fruit bucket. And then let me go ahead and find clams. Not gonna be in here. They're gonna be up in the beach chest. Ha ha! I think it was five. I think we're to like 10 just in case <laughs> as backup. Also, Leah, I don't really feel like doing anything today. I'm gonna be honest, we have enough wealth, you don't really need to, so then you just chill. I mean, well, again, we circle back around the conversation we were just having about Sam and Vincent, where it is it is satisfying to be able to, like, do some things with your life, like, to feel- Oh, snow ju yam juice! I totally forgot I made that! <laughs> a sweet, nutritious beverage, cool. Um, whoops, that's the finished chest. I need to put away- there we go, the vinegar. All right, good, good, good. <sighs> I guess I could sort this and then put the more useful things in the fridge too, but we'll worry about that later. But I mean, you know, I'm also learning as a recovering workaholic that there are days where sometimes it just is important to not do anything that obvious at least, because you're always doing something. And if you give yourself like space to think sometimes, that might be one of the most important things that you could do for yourself. So you never know what's gonna pop up if that happens. Like maybe a renewed love of being able to go ahead and roam upon your Stardew Valley farm whilst trying to dodge the like <laughs> exceptionally prolific amount of uh, mushroom trees that you have made for yourself as a hurdle. All right. Finally, little friend. It took me a long time because I had to go ahead and I had to like do a lot to get to this point, but good news. We now have... Wait. Okay, good. So we now have the clams and... Oh, look how cute you are, a little forest friend! Thanks, Bobo. Take this! 25 broccoli seeds?! That's so cool! Now maybe I find a wife. No way, I really am helping the little family grow! <laughs> Time to take the stuffing down to the raccoon, who definitely has been eating well already. Well, maybe they haven't been eating well. Maybe that's why I'm bringing them some like nutritious, delicious, healthy foods that I've made on my farm. Because maybe they've, they've been having to eat out of a dumpster for a long time, and it hasn't been good for them. And now, they're going to have- whoops, nope. I don't need to eat that, thank you. And now they're going to have hand-delivered to them, no less. Oh, the woodpecker! Hi! 
Um, some, hello little bird. Of the stuffing. Hello friend. There you go. That's the one you requested, right? Gosh, it's fun to, oh, oh. No way. That was amazing. That... My... Rose toad! My heart! I can't take that. We actually made it nice and clean and pretty and I... I can't believe we did that and now I want that raccoon back! But where would they go? Like, what else is there left? Now there's a puppy, too? That was a wonderful bonus. And they have the coolest leaf umbrella ever. Oh, I wish I could have that. Wouldn't it be fun if you could kind of, like, catch this breeze and just sort of fly with it? Wow. That was awesome. That was really, really, really awesome and made me very happy. Oh. What will also make me happy is if we can now see what the mystic seeds are have for us now that we've got um well the recipe for that and then we also know that you can make some really interesting things out of mystic seed sap so i am a sucker for mystic seed sap i suppose a sucker for the the mystical sap and we are going to have to go ahead and get some mahogany trees if i am ever going to be able to see them also does moss grow all year round or does it only kind of grow in the autumn time the most? And yes, I am spending a inordinate amount of time gathering blackberries that I probably don't need, but I can't help but look at them. I see something that is nice and colorful and looks yummy and I must go ahead and try to get it. That reminds me of when my beloved husband Chips and I went strawberry picking last time. We were trying to understand why. Why was strawberry picking just like one of the coolest things ever and we could we could not stop filling up buckets and then we realized oh it's because it's like probably evolution because like oh shiny fruit bright ready for harvest of course we're going to fill up as many buckets as we can with it and then eat an entire bucket in one night which still oh, it's careful little slimes i try so hard not to hurt you but actually, eating a whole bucket of strawberries between us uh, in one night did not actually have bad consequences. So we probably just got a lot of vitamins. All right, there we go. Oh, I wonder if we like can find that raccoon in other places. Because that would be really exciting if it's just like hanging out by the Joja hut or something. Or wait a second, isn't there like a place up to the north blocked by boulders and whatnot? Oh, I bet that it does show up in other places. Okay, Rose Stone, I still need to attempt to get the mahogany seeds if I can find any, but let's spend just a minute like searching around town to see if our raccoon friend is out and about. Hey Sam, you want to work on my farm? <laughs> Might be good for you. These aren't mahogany trees, are they? <laughs> Whatever they are, I can't cut them down. Probably part of, like, the town bylaws. Alright, let's see. Hey, Clint. Have you seen a gigantic raccoon with a leaf umbrella around here? Specific, I know. But, let's see. I can't help but just think that there must be something more. Because... I don't think that that raccoon would just show up for for one moment. I think it has more purpose in life than we have given it credit for. Did it come this way? Let me see. And then up here is where the bookseller comes. Oh, there's actually like some hardwood logs over here. Cool! 
And the bookseller comes next week, which will be very exciting. Um, oh, and there's also some stuff to clear out of the way. All right, maybe if I tidy this up, maybe I'll show up. Oh, <gasps> yes! It's another prize ticket! Sweet, I have a fun prize ticket. Oh no, the super cucumber from Maru! I just remembered. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, to be fair, I got very distracted by raccoons, which, I mean, to be fair, that seems like it kind of is relevant and important. Um, anybody up here? I'm trying to remember. If I come in here, it's a path up top that I always forget about, and then when I find it again, it surprises me. I just really, I'm just so suspicious. At this phase, we'll have to go ahead and go to Ginger Island tomorrow morning, probably. Noodle Turtles, why are you a different color? Oh my gosh, broccoli seeds. Are those like special Noodle Doodles left by our new friend, the raccoon? Is he gonna actually find a wife too? Wait, what do you mean scythe for this? <gasps> Is that just like wild hay? All right, either I have been an oblivious Siri to like everything and never knew that was there. Or there are indeed mysteries afoot that make it worth it to go ahead and poke and explore around town. Did I know this was here? I don't think I knew that was there either. <laughs> See what I mean? Let's see. And I just don't trust trust anything at the moment. I just feel like there there must be more things hiding. But that's okay. Because we'll find them. And then it'll be exciting and fun and delightful. Let's see. Got that. That was just a leaf moving in the wind. Not a fun noodle doodle to go ahead and maybe give me more broccoli seeds, I guess. Oh, and I guess I need to plant the broccoli seeds soon. How long do they have? They plant in fall, eight days to mature. I wonder if I should plant some of the, um, or like put some of the fertilizer down so that they're ready to go early. This doesn't take anywhere, does it? All right. Sorry, Linus. This is a very important expedition to search behind like every crevice and double check everything. Yes, the railroad, indeed. No raccoon here. Noodle doodle, yes, just with clay. Hmm. Hmm. No raccoon here. And then I think this is spooky scary cave of the witch, right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to mess with all the the like nonsense that gets into turning your children into like little tiny itty bitty doves that go away. Okay, that I wonder anything in here. I don't do that. Like don't 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 just walk into a tunnel that's also a train track like that. <laughs> that's just life tip, life tip. If you want to carry on with said said adventuring. Hmm. All right, Mr. Raccoon. I didn't spy you in any immediately obvious place. That doesn't mean you're not out and about. That doesn't mean I'm not going to bring you more delicious, tasty food. And that doesn't mean I have to give up hope of being able to get that ridiculously cute umbrella. It just means... Oh, more... <gasps> this is another weird colored noodle doodle. Look, it is more broccoli seeds. All right. The little raccoon guys... They're like, I like them a lot. They've got a lot going on for them. Mostly because they're giving me a ton of seeds and I really appreciate that. Also, I forget this spot is over here. Like entirely. Uh, maybe there's a secret over here. Oh my gosh, okay. Also don't go down like just a random tunnel that belongs to cars either. <laughs> Let's see, anything up here or over here? Darn. All right, well, time to go ahead and head home. I'm actually, believe it or not, going to just use the scepter because I'm about to pass out on the ground. Don't want that. And then we'll have to see, coming to bed. Oh my gosh, that's new. I didn't know that Leo would be like, hey, like, why aren't you like, you know, coming to bed yet? I'm so sorry, Leah, I'm here now. Um, also I have a million things to clean out of my inventory. And are my taro roots ready yet? No. Do they need a scythe? 
No, good. I, I didn't destroy him. Oh, all right. Well, I think we're making some progress in life. We made the raccoon happy, which means now I'm kind of wondering if we visit the raccoon today, will it have a wife? Only going to go see the raccoon will tell. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.